Welcome to an example on the converse and contrapositive of an implication. For a quick review, if we have the implication if p then q, then the converse is if q then p, and the converse is not logically equivalent to the original implication. That is, whether the converse of an implication is true is independent of the truth of the implication. The contrapositive of the implication if p then q is if not q then not p, and an implication and its contrapositive are logically equivalent, meaning they are both true or both false. So let's take a look at the example below. Suppose I tell you that if Sue gets a 93% or greater on her final, then she will get an A in the class. Assuming that what I said is true, what can you conclude in the following cases? Number one, Sue gets a 93% or greater on her final. Number two, Sue gets an A in the class. Number three, Sue does not get a 93% or greater on her final. And number four, Sue does not get an A in the class. First note that whenever if P then Q and P are both true statements, Q must be true as well. For this problem, let's take P to mean Sue gets a 93% or greater on her final and Q to mean Sue will get an A in the class. So again, going back to the problem, case one, is Sue gets a 93% or greater on her final. So here we have, if P then Q and P are both true statements, and therefore Q follows, meaning we can conclude Sue gets an A in the class. The second case is Sue gets an A in the class. So here we have, if P then Q and Q to be true statements. Nothing follows by knowing Q is true. Sue could have gotten an A in the class because she did extra credit. We do not know that if Sue gets an A in the class, then she gets a 93% or greater on her final, meaning we don't know if Q then P to be true. If Q then P is the converse of the original implication, which may or may not be true, which means once again we can conclude nothing. Case three, Sue does not get a 93% or greater on her final. So in this case we have if P then Q and not P to be true statements. And again, not P states, Sue does not get a 93% or greater on her final. Not P does not imply not Q. Again, we can conclude nothing. Sue may get an A in the class by doing extra credit. Sue may also not get an A in the class. So again, by knowing not P is true, we can conclude nothing. And finally, the fourth case is Sue does not get an A in the class. So here we have if P then Q and not Q as true statements. Not Q is a negation of the conclusion of the original implication. We know the contrapositive of the original implication, which is if not Q then not P, has the same truth value of the original implication, which is if P then Q. So if we know if P then Q is true, we also know if not Q, then not P is true as well. If Sue does not get an A in the class, we can conclude that she did not get a 93% or greater on her final. I hope you found this helpful.